Hugh Hefner, a true American icon, created an empire that was unrivaled. Although some of us bunnies may have gone rogue, it's because of the love and respect that we received from the man behind it all. Because after all, we did learn from the best. Relive the stories from the most prominent celebrity home in history. What happens in the grotto stays in the grotto. From those of us that lived it. The employees that worked it. And the guests who loved it. And the the mayhem continues. I'm a little hung. I'm not going to lie. Okay, come on. I took out my brother last night, and uh, it was his birthday. So every year, my brother comes into town, and I always want to give him some new experience. So it was it was pretty wild. Yeah, you look surprised. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're going to keep going. We, matter of fact, we have a big party tonight, so we're going to be doing that. But we also have a party here in studio, and that's what I'm excited about. You should uh, be. I mean, this is going to be this is going to be a sick show. If you just tuned in, you are listening to Rogue Bunnies Mayhem. It's let me. I'm going to introduce her, by the way. And by the way, I'm Victoria Fuller. <laughs> Fighting who's gonna introduce And her. I, I want to introduce Olga. Let's see. Loreda. Oh. oh, I butchered it. I butchered it. I butchered it. Did you, did you remember? Roll the tongue. Loera. 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 Olga, number one. I've known Olga for a pretty long time now. She's been around the Playboy family forever. Mm-hmm. Um, she is one of the most popular international playmates of all time. She was in Playboy Mexico uh, 2012, and she's been on several cover covers September 2017 in Mexico, and it sold out the second it was on the news. Yeah. Yes. So that just give you a little bit. She's shaped like a an hourglass and uh, <laughs> with the tiniest waist, and you just I, nobody can get enough of her. How are you doing? Oh, thank you for having me today, <laughs> Victoria. Oh, my God. My brother here. I love him, and I love you here. Um, it's a... Truly an honor, and um, I feel like I'm, I'm back to my family, and um, I want to have fun today. Yeah, you know, well, I like that you said that. You know, when you come back to the family, because yes. we had talked the other day. I was doing an event in in Manhattan Beach, and Olga just called up out of the blue, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. just when you can flash back with people that you actually got to spend time with through the years, something happens, right? Because we are family. We, we, I mean, you just start flashing back. I mean, Victoria, you said you've known Olga forever. Yeah, we've known her for each other forever. And she's always at the the Playboy reunions, so I always see her there. And um, she did hair and makeup for many of the Playmates for many yes. years, a bunch of the girlfriends. So she was around. Why she wasn't in American Playboy, I think it was because she was too shy to do too it at shy. the time. <laughs> but she moved on to other things, which was really great. But... One of the reasons why I wanted to have Olga on was not only because she's so fabulous, but because we're about to launch our international rogue bunnies yes. vertical and NFTs, and Olga will be among the first, right. and um, she's going to be the headliner for that. And we're very excited about bridging the gap between American uh, rogue bunnies and uh, international Latino rogue bunnies. Uh, okay, I want to say something. That's huge, man. That's yes. freaking yes. awesome. It's, in Spanish, it's called a primicia. Primicia. It's like something is incredible incredible adding to something is already wonderful but it's like a a new small project to make the podcast a little bit more spicy oh yeah <laughs> we like spicy yeah yes. we like spicy yeah. so yeah so we're excited that you're here and we're excited that you're going to be in our rogue bunny family mm-hmm. it's about time we've talked about it a long time we've talked about it we were talking about it over a year ago Yes. And I got way too busy and she called me out of the blue recently and she's like, what's going on? And so she really inspired me to pull it together and get this going with these uh, Rogue Bunny, international Rogue Bunny trading cards. So we're going to talk about that, but we also want to learn more about you. So of course. tell us what uh, you've been up to you. lately. Well, I want to say I'm number one fan uh, for oh, so many years. I have one of your paintings. Oh. The, the blue bunny with the back. Yep, the back bunny. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I buy one. it and I love it. It's in my collectible paintings. And I went to almost every single show when you was doing. All the art shows. All the Show-y art shows. All I was there. Aww. And I dressed like an incredible to impress everybody, but never impress you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thank you for having me. Well, everybody know I'm Olga Loera. I'm a petite girl. F- I'm f- five everything. I'm five feet, one of five, size five. You're and a 10, but you're a I'm a 10, a but I'm five, and yes. <laughs> and I, I feel like a, I, for a reason, I am working at Playboy because I, I love people. I genuinely 
genuinely love people. And I miss the the fun part, not just about the parties, about connecting with so yeah. many yeah. great people there. Mm -hmm. And then helping a lot of models who are now mega stars or mega models. Influencers. <laughs> Influencers. And I star, um, I was doing hair and makeup for more than 22 years. Oh, wow. I have my own uh, company. It's called Team Indulge. And the old times, you know, like uh, water parks and uh, can be 100 people to 7,000 people. And I do all the hair and makeup for the go-go dancers, but all the people, all the stuff. Someone discovered me and say, wow, you, your job is beautiful. You need to contact Joe Energy was a promoter in double times. And then they play what they have more activities. I remember, uh, I said, wow, that's, that's my dream. But when that happened, I don't do nothing. I guess I, I get married. And then um, God have a plan for you. He sent me a few playmates to do the hair. And I meet Tina Jordan. Yes. And, yes, 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 Tina. yes, very cool. Tina, and then I start doing the hair for Tina and Shana Lamas. Oh. And when I start doing the, the, the hair and color or makeup, Tina say, oh, Olga, okay. okay, I want to bring you like my guests. And I fall in love immediately with Playboy. was like a love at first sight. Ah. I start say, okay, contact this person. Maybe you can work in that event. And don't was money at all. But... I love, still love that, you know, be part of that for me was like the accomplishment. And then from that, one thing got to other. And I was there for like 10 years, like on the underground. I want to tell. When, when you say underground, you're you underground, talking? like a, on the gym. <laughs> Because yeah, no, like no, a, I know, I know. Oh, for, so, but for the listener, underground. for the listener, so you have we have the gym, which mm. was underground, underground, underground yes. from the bathhouse. Yes, um, and that's where that all the body me, painted the, girls, the all the makeup, VIP, hair, all, all that got done. Yeah, but you know what's really cool, Olga is, and and I, I've always been a fan. I mean, we're really great friends, but I'm inspired because you took the opportunity for when you started with hair and makeup, then you took that role. You became that. I want to talk more about that, but wow. we're going to take a quick break. Yes. We're going to come right back. Olga Loera in studio. This is freaking awesome. You are listening to Rogue Bunnies Mayhem. Woo! Woo! The Rogue Bunnies have had some pretty epic in real life events that I'm sure you've all heard about. Wondering how you can be included in our next one? Become a VIP NFT holder. The main benefit of being a VIP is access to our events and lucky for you, there are multiple ways to become one. Purchase a stunning Rogue Bunnies Founder Drop Ordinal, minting now at ordinals.roguebunnies.com. Or own a legendary or epic trading card. Buy one right off of our marketplace or try your luck with a Series 1 trading card pack. Once you own one of these, get verified in our Discord and claim your status. The VIP perks don't end at in real life events. You'll also have priority access to future drops, gated chat channels with the Rogue Bunnies, VIP only online events, and more. Want more details? Visit roguebunnies.com. Then follow the bunny mask and get ready to go rogue. Welcome to the metaverse. We were just talking about um, how you started uh, at the mansion doing hair, makeup, but then you became the model. Yes. Well, how was that transition like? And, and how did you make that happen? Oh my God. Um, to be honest, I see, I was doing the hair for the most beautiful women in the planet. Oh yeah. Girls, they are like perfect, head to toe. And when they sit on the chair when I was doing the hair, the first thing they say, oh, I hate my ears, cover my ears. I don't like my neck. And I'm yeah. like, oh my God, I wish I have your, your legs <laughs> or even your face. You're gorgeous. And then I feel like, you know, every single woman is maybe you don't like something about you. Well, there's always an insecurity. Yeah. It, yes. And then I feel like, I, you know, I'm not too bad. Uh, I Let's polish, be honest, no, you're smoking. I little. polish myself because in the old times, I don't want the, the pretty and I dress like uh, not in the best way. When I started out Playboy, my my hair was like kind of not dark, but like darker. And then little by little, I said, you know what? I look better with light hair color. But what, what I remember, I was working and someone grabbed me you need to be there working with the playmates. Like, a, oh, not a playmate. <laughs> I'm the hair. <laughs> I choose the hair lady here. So I was like, why you are not a playmate? Because I'm too short. I think it's a it's a protocol. And, you know, yeah. 
but not but they, they have exclu- they, they have exceptions and then um the, one of the playmates invited me to sub fun and the sun Yes. Oh and yeah, those are fun. Yes, it's when uh, the the first time they 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 asked me to be Playboy USA, and that was at Fun in the Sun, or, yes. or someone After saw you at Fun in the Sun. Someone saw me. Someone saw me. Hugh Hefner saw me at Fun in the Sun, and who is the girl? They think I'm another playmate, and then say, "Oh no, that's Olga," and then they they send me an email. I have it, and then they asked me to do the casting and come and do the photo shoot, and I deny it. You denied it. Yeah. I was what? Pendeja. <laughs> <laughs> mm, for those, for those that don't speak Spanish, what does that mean? A pendeja is like a dumb, <laughs> stupido. Okay, all right. And I, I was thinking, oh my god, my grandmother's going to be mad and uh, oh, insecure. You know, is it because you were you were you were scared because I mean you'd be doing nudity. Uh, yes. Have you ever done Mexi- nude model Never. modeling ever? I was virgin, virgin. <laughs> and um, a couple of years later, I regret it. Like, oh my God, so many girls want the opportunity. And then a um, couple of years later, guess who was at the house? Partying like the biggest ever, Playboy Mexico. Ah. They saw me and they say, we want you. We'll send you a contract tomorrow and we are going to be the... Uh, Miss April. Yeah. What did that wow. feel like? Oh, I was scared as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say yes. And then like uh, they they don't say what April, right? Mm-hmm. Well, when that happened, I get married and then um, was for the next April. And then I get pregnant. Oh. It's like uh, my daughter born in April. Oh, wow. So they hadn't done the photo shoot yet? No. No. No, but uh, what happened, like, I only have a very short time to get on shape mm-hmm. before the photo shoot. So and you just had a child, uh, and then you exactly. got to get your body right back, which is not easy. Okay, in four weeks or less oh than goodness. that. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I was like a, a So square. how did that go? I, f- I hired a personal trainer. I do hot yoga. Never do that again. My hair was <laughs> fucked up. <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> I do everything is possible just to get my body back. Yeah. And then only quickly took four possible. weeks? Wow. Four weeks. And then I start going back to work at Playboy with milk in there. <laughs> but uh, I don't care at all. I just feel like uh, that's my that was my, my, my home. And finally, that my first publication, my, my entire life changed. I become with many opportunities and then... I start um, getting a lot of emails from other girls all over the world, including Latin America, of course, but uh, girls who say, help me. Can you send, show the photos to body painting? Or, and I say, send me your resume. And no, not choose like a, you want to be in Playboy. Why? I want to know why. And then I start getting a lot of emails is how I, discover so many amazing models right now. So you did your Playboy shoot as a mother? As a mother, yes. With milk in my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How did it feel the first time when you actually did the photo shoot? I mean, here you are. I mean, what, what, what people don't realize is that mm-hmm. there's a huge crew. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes. right, Victoria? Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, yeah, you're derobing. People. You're walking out. You're nothing underneath, but a, and you have a robe. Did you shoot And then you got to take that robe off. Um, I shoot here, and also uh, was a female woman, a female woman, a female model. Did you shoot model, over uh, at uh, uh, Studio <laughs> West? Oh, she was a model too. Huh? Did you shoot at Studio West? No, was in a location. Oh, they, oh they, okay, okay. Because yeah. Playboy Play Mexico wanted something more, um, no, like a studio, more uh, outdoors. Yeah. It, no, that was my, my, to be honest, my favorite like uh, photos. I still like have I have five different type of boobies, from the girls next door, the neighbor, the porn star, oh, we, playmate. We need a evolution of those. Yes, I have some a, every on every that. every size in the in the book. <laughs> from, yeah, have from A B C D E F F F F. What are you oh. currently at right now? Yeah, um, this is the triple D D D. Triple triple D D D. Yes. Oh, triple um, D. Uh, I do body painting with uh, one booby uh, up and the other booby down. Also, I was doing hair, 
And then that good boy painting. Was it uh, Mark Fraser? Yes. Mark Fraser doing yes. I'm okay. the one that found Mark and Fraser. What? No yes. way. Yes. So oh, he, he's amazing. Yeah, he wasn't a body painter. He's an amazing artist. Mark Fraser's an amazing he's, artist. Well, th- this is a story. So he was shooting. He was a photographer. He he shot them and then he would digitally paint on wings and like all kinds of really beautiful stuff. And I saw his stuff and I was like, well, I want to shoot with you. So we went to... We went to a cemetery and shot pictures because I thought that would be really cool. Anyways, but so we shot there. And so he did the wings on and we did a bunch of stuff. So there was a party coming up and um, I was like, I was talking to him about, I really would like to be painted. Do you do any like painting on the body? You do all this digital stuff. And so he, remember, I don't know if you remember, but I had a Playboy bunny painted on me for Halloween. I wore a top hat. And so that was his first body paint that he did. Tina Jordan. Tina Jordan was a was really generous with her connecting people. So long story short, Tina Jordan was like, hey, he's really great. Do you think he would shoot pictures of me? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. So he started shooting her with the wings and then she wanted to get body painted. And then she decided she was going to make him the body painting person. And he had, he didn't, he didn't even know anything about body painting. He completely learned from scratch at that moment. So you know, a couple girls came in, he, he did like five girls and he body painted them. And it became his entire business after that, where he was not even doing photography. So that was that was it. He became he started getting work all around the world for body painting for yes. parties after that and oh, charging huge money. <gasps> so he body painted. So whenever I needed a costume for Halloween or a party or something, he always painted me for free, of course, because I uh, because I got him the job there. So I always had great outfits from the waist up i always had him a lot of parties i came with paint on from him wow yeah. but yeah. for the half parties the half parties yeah. no they I mean, were the those girls, girls were fully were nude. nude full enough i mean and when you did shade. body painting yeah. olga you yes. were fully nude marfrey is like so talented and the the group of people who who bring is like he was very precise yeah um i tried to work with him for many years I was doing other promoters, and finally he said, okay, if someone cancel, can you come in to these girls? And they start early, like at that 6 yeah. in the morning. Oh, yeah. And then um, uh, some of the girls, they are new. You need to kind of, kind of relax them. But uh, he's like, uh, just keep keep working. And uh, I have the experience to do help him with the body painting or the hair or the makeup and also be body painting by him. And he always do a signature in your butt yep. or in some part of your body. I remember the photos of Tina Jordan because I had one. Yeah, he he did great yes. work on her. So he it was so funny because I think it was one of the Halloweens and he painted a bunch of girls all leopard print and yes. like mm-hmm. the full body from head to toe. And he was like, okay, whatever you do, when you go to the bathroom, don't sit down. Right. And the girls were like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So you could tell the girls that just did not pay attention because they had a ring around their butt where there was no paint. (laughs) Yes. It was terrible. So he would have to, you know, he hated touching them up because he wanted to be out in the party. And like, you know, because after being 16 hours of painting girls, you want to kind of get out of that. It's when you would go down into the gym and he would be painting, it would literally be a fog of glitter, sparkles, and just like just everything. It was like you're in a blue haze or whatever. It was amazing. You you know what was my favorite part? Hmm. He was very professional all the time. He said, Tell the girls if they go to the bathroom, don't don't use a lot of toilet paper because the part will, you know, the disappear the painting. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then if that happened when they come back, they need to you need to tell them, bend over and paint it again. Yeah, do a touch up. <laughs> right. Yeah, because when they're on stage and people are looking up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So Olga, yes. you started mm-hmm. hair, makeup. Yes. You were shy. You turned it down mm-hmm. when the first offer came in. Yes. Next thing you know. You're body painted. You're like literally yes. walking around nude. Nude. Yeah. yeah I mean, yes. really, you're yes. walking around nude. But you know, that's that's nude, empowerment. Though, you don't feel. But look at what you've done, and you've then mm-hmm. you you've taken ownership of you, and mm-hmm. that's why I've always admired you. Oh. Is be you created your career. You took that opportunity. You got over the shyness, and then international playmate. Yes. And yes. now we're talking international rogue, rogue bunny. bunnies. Yes. This, I mean, I'm this, excited. This is the new era of this beautiful. Family. What did you call that word? The, what's that word in the P? A p- p- uh, premisia. Premisia. A premisia. Mm-hmm. P- P- Playboy is incredible opportunity, but uh, what I have now, like you guys, as a family, is forever. Well, it's forever. And family. and thanks to to that, I'm here right now, and Aww. my my life changed so much, and I have so many opportunities, and I'm still doing great things. Even am I. 
I don't care if I'm a, like a older lady right now, but uh, I en- <laughs> I enjoy my life and I'm more happy. Yeah. And no more shy. I'm no more shy at all. You sound truly grateful that you had that experience. Uh, yes. Yes. It's so like Victoria, a- what do you see for the international rogue bunnies? Well, I see women that look like Olga and have her spirit. I think it's really important. I think one of the things that Hef did so well was choose women that not only had an ambition, but were also very supportive of his vision and and what it meant to be a playmate and would fill those shoes nicely. And I think Olga has everything that it takes to be our international rogue bunny extraordinaire. So she's definitely going to lead the charge in that department. I'm really excited to have her on board because she's been really motivated and getting involved in stuff and that's really what we need we need girls that are re- that really understand the vision and she's always understood it even a year ago when i talked to her she was on board a year ago so i'm yes. glad that it's finally and the passion. finally here you it's, have yeah. the passion yeah she's passionate it's, about it's it it's the right time yes yeah, maybe not right maybe time. no a year ago but right now is the right time it's going to be the new brand Yes, this is, yeah. this is she's going to help bridge that this, gap yes this still our family and then uh, is that the perfect time awesome I can't Olga, wait. We have to. We have to have you come back. Yes, I mean, we could go on. Uh, and I want to say something on. quickly. Stories and um, about Brian. Uh oh, I'm wait, scared. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. Everyone, quite. I no, never I ever ever forget that day when I meet him, because I love the hair. Just kidding. No, uh, no. He have, <laughs> he, have, he have very beautiful long hair, and then it was so hard to tell where you're from. You know, he can be uh, uh, everything like. Persian, Mexican, uh, Arabic, or even um, uh, Indian. What I love about him, he was so mean to everybody. He mean? Made me mean a playboy. He made me cry a few times. <laughs> and but I, I Laying admi- down the law, Brian. I yes. was just strict. I followed the rules. Yes, you did. I love he was protecting the house, yes. the space, and that made me feel secure. And thank, thank, you. You, thank you, thank you for having my back in so many events. And I, I, I was a pain in the ass, but you was amazing. Aww. You, you know, Aww I don't got to follow up on that, but thank you. I mean, <laughs> Olga, you, you, you are your sweetheart. Brian, you always had the mansion's best interest at heart. I'd have to always remind every employee and they go, you are a representative of half himself. Mm-hmm. Yep. You have to remember that. It's not you as an individual. We're mm-hmm. representing a man who mm-hmm. built a brand. And if you come across in any way that is off brand, you just tarnished his name. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so people took that really serious. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry. And I, now I feel like shit. No. But, but I was just strict. I mean, these way. are the rules because every girl wants to try to bend or mm, try to get sure. away with stuff and they couldn't let them do that. But Olga, we're going to definitely have you come back. I'm excited, Victoria. Yep. You know, international rogue bunnies. I mean, wow, this avenue is just opening up. How does it, how does everybody follow you now? Yeah, where can Are we you find you on social media? Yes. Yes. I'm very active in social media, even Twitch. <laughs> um, my Instagram is together, please. Olga Loera, together. O L G A L O E R A. It's a lot of O's. O O O. Play Olga Loera. I use my real name, to be honest, in every single, all my platforms, just all okay. Galoera. Are you on Twitter? Yes, I'm on Twitter. I'm, okay. Everything gonna... is connected, but uh, I am on Twitter. All right. We're going to be having you on some Twitter spaces soon then. Oh, yeah. And thank you for the amazing drink today. Yes. Rock she got Bunnies, to, she blue, was one of the first color. People. Thank you. And my, my pin. Is, she got a Rogue Bunnies pin. I don't stay in place, but. Uh, we, we are designing a Rogue Bunnies drink. We finally got the formula. Yeah. Yeah, it's very exciting. Agua bendita. Holy water. Oh. <laughs> well, with that, let's wrap out. <laughs> I'm Brian Alea. I'm Jennifer Pershing. And I'm Victoria Fuller. Yes, thank you thank so you. much. Thanks for having me. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. We're going to definitely have Olga back, and we're going to be telling you more about what's going on with the international Rogue Bunnies. And the, the mayhem, mayhem continues. continues.